Hi everyone and happy fishing season to all. We've got to start to the season. I bet you've been out a little bit more than me, but I'm starting to get out there again. If you haven't watched my channel, I'm based out of Anoka, Minnesota. So going somewhere kind of close to start it out. Had to try the trailer out, make sure the wheels are going good and everything else was just working. So I went to a lake where I knew I could get some fish and I caught some fish. The only problem was I had my camera on the wrong setting so a lot of the pictures are too close. So I'll give you an idea of how I did by including some footage but a good first trip and that everything worked great. Hello everybody, first time out for the 2020 fishing season. Nice to be with all of you again. Looking forward to a lot of great times this year. We're on a small lake not too far from Minneapolis. We're just gonna see what's gonna bite today. Nice to have the boat out. I'll keep the camera rolling. If something fun happens, you'll be sure to see it. We are just gonna work our way around. We're gonna start with a two inch power bait. It's kind of my, been my go-to the last few years. I like gulp, but gulp falls apart pretty easily. So if they'll bite power bait, sometimes you can use the same one all day. Oh, first bite of 2020. Didn't quite stick. Second bite of 2020. <laughs> I had a time last year where I had to put on a smaller jig head. But we'll see. It might be really tight up towards shore. There we go. And we have ourselves a crappie. First fish of 2020. Hopefully many more. Little guy, right up by the reeds there. This lake has some monsters in it too. There we go. I do not know if I've ever caught a darker crappie. Maybe somebody can comment, is that part of the spawn? Look at that guy. About 2.2 feet of water here. Ooh, I saw my, saw my twister tail disappear. Ooh, that's a nice one. There we go. Look at that guy. That iridescent and that black looks pretty good. All right. So our first corner here started on the edge of the lily pads didn't get much as we moved in it looks like they're gonna be right up tight towards the reeds got 2.9 feet of water here there we go nice that's a chunky sunny Another one. They are aggressive today, which is nice. First trip out, you like to get some action. It's another good thing about the spring before everything comes up, is you kind of learn the lake a little better. I wouldn't be fishing here midsummer because it'd be too choked out with weeds, but it is nice to know that there's some water flowing. So it's flowing that way, and obviously it's connected to another lake. 
and there's always kind of a gap between these lily pads, so kind of explains why. There we go. Well, sunny. Nice sunny. Maybe that's where the big guys are hanging out. In the current there. Nice fish. There we go. Well, I think we got another in Northern. First drag puller of the year. Come on, be a bass. I don't think it's bass. Alright. We're about to lose our jig. Oh, we had him hooked just just right. My second trip, I went out towards Annandale, Minnesota, and I tried for some bass, northerns, whatever would bite. Very slow day. But that day, I was trying out my new GoPro camera. I brought a GoPro Hero Black 8, and that performed well. I did manage one nice bass. There's a fish. Looks like we got a bass. Fish on. Saw a bunch of fish crews in the shallows here. Put on my ultralight. There we go. Good one. All right. Nice fish. Hook him right in the side of the mouth. It's a good chunky three pounder. My third trip of the season, I got out with a buddy. You've heard me call him my panfish expert. Well, guess what? This day, he was a northern and smallmouth bass expert. We caught some monster fish. Great to get out in his boat and catch some big fish. We also caught some panfish too. Second cast with Chad, the best guide in the world. 32 and a half. Nice. Nice right. catch. Back it goes. Famous last words though, right? the sound you miss in January and February. Yep. Yeah, they don't tire out as much in the sun. No. <laughs> <laughs> On a tip up, they're a little easier to get in. <laughs> nice. Coming up. Now watch that head shake, just keep the pressure. You got him hooked right in the corner. If we need to go to the other side, we can too. Man, I thought after that first run, he was coming in pretty easy. Yeah. All right. Well, you deserved him. He hit your bobber how many times? Probably an accident. There we go. About 33. Oh, it's a, oh, it's a smolly. It's 
monsters. Molly, oh my gosh. Wow. 20. Wow. That is a monster 20. Let's get a good hold up a little bit. The last trip, you know, when you catch some big fish, you want to go back to the same areas. I went back to the same spot we were the night before. Different day, high skies, sunnier out, and I only managed a couple of northerns and a crappie. But all in all, it's just great to be out. Hi everyone, Fisher MN here. Part of sometimes what you don't see on the lake is dry spells. And I've fished for the first two and a half hours, three hours one crappie but i'm hoping as the sun gets lower the fish will start biting There we go. Hey, we picked up a northern. A polite northern that swam right to the net. On. Ooh, what do we got? I thought it was small at first. That's a decent northern. There we go. Northern number two, not bad. All right, everybody, hope you're getting out and I will see you on the water probably next week. Thanks for watching.